Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to do another week special. My DVDs that are normally $35, and that's cut down from uh, $60. And this week, $25, DVDs one through six, close to 6000 Me walk you through how to play the rhythm guitar. And the reason why I'm, I'm putting on this sale because within the next very soon I'm going to say that the, the price of the DVDs, which are normally 35 are going to go up because of the increases in PayPal fees, the increases in postage, and some other things. So I'm trying to put these DVDs in the hands of just about anybody that's serious about learning how to play the rhythm guitar because I've been a professional musician for over 27, 28 years. I've written, I've engineered, I've produced, you know, I've done it all. And I'm passing on the information and knowledge that I have to you guys. Because, I mean, $25, you can't find another deal even similar to this at $45 as far as what I teach you in these DVDs. Because the standard music lessons these days are $40 a week. That's $240 a month. That's a car note. You know, so, and then within six months of that, of, of, of you paying that kind of money, not even close to what, I teach you in these DVDs, you know, so it's a it's an unbelievable savings and it's a great value. You know, again, my channels speak for themselves. I play just about anything that I want to play. And I'm going to just say this and it might sound foreign to you at the moment. But if you purchase the DVDs, it might make sense to you or at some point in time. It will. It's real simple. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated. It starts off complicated. Man, I got to learn all this stuff, you know, before I can play the stuff off the radio. No, but they tell you that because that's how they've been taught to teach you. It's real simple. You only have to really learn, for the most part, six chords. And I teach you those six chords in two different inversions, meaning that you play it in one position finger wise on the A str E string, heavy E, and then the A string. And the reason why you need to know at least two because most professional musicians know more than that. I know more, but I really have to, have to use a third one. So the reason why you need to know uh, two positions is this. Say, for instance, you're playing a C major 7 chord because that's what the song is calling for. But you're playing it the, on, on the root based on the A string, which is the darker one. And the song might require the brighter one, which is on the E string. So, you know, that's basically the only reason why you need to know different inversions as far as matching up the tone of the chord with the record, you know, and I teach you those six chords. They're not really difficult. Well, actually, they're not difficult. And the majority of the stuff that I play have those chords. I mean, I just did a, a OJ song. I think I forgot which one it was, but you can check. I just posted two days ago. Uh, and all the chords are in that song. I teach you, you know, Every blue moon, you run across some difficult chords, but, you know, I even include those in the DVDs. So, you know, it's not that difficult, you know, as far as the rhythm guitar, because uh, you got, I have other people, you know, that ask me, what about solos? This is how I look at it, because people ask me all the time when I play songs and there's a solo in there, where's the solo? I don't do other people's solos. Solo implies what it implies. Solo by yourself. This is you, not you copying somebody else. But if that's your thing that you want to sit down and, and, and map out somebody else's thoughts and emotions musically, note for note, knock yourself out. That's just not me. You know, uh, every now and then I do them to show people that I can do them, but that's just not me. And you have to think about this, which most people don't. Ninety something percent of your playing is going to be playing chords or picking lead lines, not soloing. You know, nowadays, unfortunately, in R&B songs, you really ever hear solo. Back in the 60s, it was, you know, common ground. You know, but that doesn't apply to the rock thing, you know, because rock guys are still rocking out and playing solos and, and shredding. But R&B, they didn't scale back, you know. So the emphasis should be on what's more important and what you can use as opposed to something that you rarely use. Because you got some people that want to be Jimi Hendrix. I'm like, well, there's a real problem with that. First of all, there was only one Jimi. You'll never be another one. Second of all, R&B music does not require or, 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 or warrant screaming solos anymore, you know. So unfortunately... That's gone. It's never coming back. So you need to focus on the present at hand and, and, and what's going to be in the future, you know, because as much as we want to kind of hold time back and hold it to have it stand still, because if it was up to me, I'd be living back in the 80s still. But no one has that control and power. So you have to go with what's, you know, current because I give you a good example. 
uh, I just did a cover of uh, OJ song, Serious Affair on Piano. And here's some guys that came from an era where Gamble and Huff wrote some tremendous classic songs for these guys. And at any given time, there was at least 30 people that played on those that one song or one song because of the strings, you know, a whole orchestra behind them and all these elaborate chord changes. They go from that to two chord songs because serious affairs is just two chords. Then there's like a note finger and note thing somewhere, you know, uh, off and on that comes in and out. That's it. So it's interesting that they came from this to this scale down thing, but that's just the nature of the business. So, you know, you can't be a dinosaur and refuse to embrace change because change is coming regardless. But anyway, again, for the next week, my DVDs that are normally $35 that will soon increase in price due to uh, increase in other fees, you get it for $25, six DVDs, close to 6000 me walking you through how to play the rhythm guitar. My PayPal information is right down here, so you can just submit payment. As soon as I get your payment, I send you an email stating that I got it, and your DVDs will go out the very next day. So you might want to jump on this as soon as possible if you're serious about learning how to play the rhythm guitar because, again, these prices will not be be like they are for, for, for a long period of time. Thanks, and thanks for watching. Take care.